And there is something about watching a movie outside with the family, in the yard or in the driveway. And uh, with all of this social distancing, when it first started happening back in March, well, the family and I, we would go outside, socially distant, watch a movie. And uh, at the time, we could even let some of their friends come over, as long as because we kept the chairs, you know, far enough apart, and we could actually sit outside and watch a movie. So if you're looking for a digital projector that you can take into the yard, well, there are a lot of choices, and they've been very popular on Amazon and Best Buy and some of the other websites and retailers. I want to take a look at two of the more popular portable projectors. This is the Anchor Nebula 2, and it may turn on here as I pick it up. Uh, the Anchor Nebula 2, it kind of looks like a soda can. And then this is the ViewSonic M1 Plus, and it is a very nice projector. Both of these, look how portable they are. Now the ViewSonic, as we mentioned, has a flat shape, and the lens is right here, and it's covered by this little metal stand. All right, so here's what happens when you open this stand. The projector should come on automatically. There it is. And then you can also use this stand as a lens cover, but it also will hang. So if you wanted to, to do something like hang this from the ceiling, you can use this little arm, the smart mount, or, and this is the way most people use it, put it underneath the projector and you can adjust it. Both of these are solidly built. Uh, they have a little bit of heft to them, about a pound and a half. Now the battery in each one of these is gonna last about two, two and a half hours. I know that uh, we have been able to watch a movie, a two and a half hour movie using the Nebula, but once we were watching and the battery died. Now of course, you can plug this into a, a, a cord, you know, throw a, an extension cord into the backyard or whatever, and you can plug this up to AC power. You can do the same with the ViewSonic. And both projectors have great speakers. The ViewSonic M1 Plus has dual Harman Kardon speakers. The Nebula 2 has a 360 degree speaker. Both are plenty loud enough for a small group of non-talking viewers. Don't invite those people anyway. You can add an external Bluetooth speaker or plug this into a sound bar, but I do think the Nebula speaker sounds a little bit better. The Nebula 2 is a little easier to set up. It has Android TV built in, so just log into your Google account, use the apps to stream content onto the screen. It's gonna make it a lot easier to watch Hulu or YouTube, YouTube TV, movies from the Google Play Store. But neither of these projectors have Netflix. No Netflix app for some reason. Now both the Nebula and the M1 Plus have remotes. The Nebula has apps for Android and iOS, so you don't even have to keep up with that remote. And believe me, this is a big deal. I can't tell you how many times after watching a movie, I'm standing in the backyard with a flashlight looking for the remote that somehow fell into the grass. Now in terms of how to get content to the projector and the screen, both of these projectors have an HDMI, USB-C, standard USB. The ViewSonic M1 Plus also has a micro SD card slot along with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, which is large enough for about four hours of movies. The movies and shows can be streamed wirelessly, also by mirroring content from your phone screen. The Nebula 2 has Chromecast built in, but I found the easiest way to get content to the screen from something that we're um, streaming from is uh, getting an HDMI cable like this, plug it into the projector, and then I use, this is another Anchor product, this little smart hub, USB-C. So with the newer iPads, Android phones, plug this directly into that device, plug the HDMI cable into this hub and then into one of these projectors. And it's as easy as that and you can control the content using your iPad or a computer. As far as the picture quality, ViewSonic's M1 Plus has full HD and in double the lumen, so the picture is brighter. Now that's gonna make a difference if you start the movie outside when there's still just a little bit of light. I'm projecting here to a 100 inch screen with the M1 Plus. And now same screen from the Nebula 2. 
Now the picture quality with the Nebula is 720 HD, but the colors seem to pop just as much as they do with the M1 Plus. Now the Nebula 2 has auto focusing and it works pretty well because it determines how far away it is to the screen or what it's projecting to. But I will say a couple of times that we've been using this, it is having some trouble actually figuring out how far away it is from the screen. So what I have to do is I have to pick it up, kind of move my hand in front of it, let it correct to my hand and then put it back out there. And then it does auto correct and uh, auto focus. Now the uh, ViewSonic actually has a little knob here to control the auto focus or control focus manually. And I really like that. I, I would prefer to do this manually than to depend on um, the insides, the soft where of these projectors getting that autofocus absolutely perfect. So which one is better? Well, it really depends. Both of these projectors are very, very good. If you do like to watch a lot of YouTube, if you like to use the Google Play Store, let me tell you the Anchor uh, Nebula 2 is just a lot easier to get set up. It's basically just turn this thing on, log into your Google account, and you are, and all you have to do is just log into that Google account one time, and you can play from any of the apps that you have. Uh, it also has Chromecast built in, so that's another big feature. But the ViewSonic M1 Plus does have some advantages. The picture quality is a little better, it's a little brighter, plus I really like, it's silly, but I really like this uh, lens cover and stand. That makes it a lot easier when you're trying to, you know, get it on the ground or on a table. Um, I use a sandbag just to make sure that I can get this thing level uh, because it kind of bugs me when it's, uh, when the picture isn't just perfect. If price doesn't matter, I'd get the Nebula. Uh, it's just easy to handle. It, I like the style, but if, they're very expensive. This one's $580 um, for a good reason. There are a lot of good features and I love that Android store. But um, for the ViewSonic, it's $270. But if that's still more than what you want to spend, you could get this ViewSonic projector. This is the M1 Mini. And as you can see, it's very small compared to the Plus. This will actually fit in a purse, even in a back pocket. And it has a lot of the functions that the others do. It's got the HDMI connection. It's got the USB-C. The picture is nowhere near as bright as these two. But if, uh, if it's really dark outside, you'll probably be okay. It's not going to, the audio quality isn't going to be as good either. Uh, but still, you're talking about $150, $280, or $270, and $580. Bucks. So this is that ViewSonic M1 Mini. It's got the little stand, it's plastic, not metal. And again, it will fit in your back pocket. I think any of these projectors will make you very happy, make your family happy, and they make terrific family Christmas gifts. So take a look at those. And thanks for joining us. If you like this content, please subscribe, ring that bell so you'll be notified. We do four or five videos for our YouTube channel and TV stations. We put those up on YouTube every week. You'll be notified when there is a new uh, video available. Listen, thanks for being with us. My name's Jamie Tucker. Check us out online, whatthetech.tv, and enjoy the movie.